Okay, welcome back. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to bind uh, the radio to the um, both the receiver and the telemetry module in the Radian Pro. So um, let me talk about the telemetry module first, TM1000 module. Very simple um, uh, device, but uh, I consider absolutely essential because I want to know the, the voltage left on the battery. You can't base it on time with a with a uh, glider like this because it's going to float for a while and the throttle is going to be off a lot. So you want to know exactly what the voltage on the battery is at all times. So the TM1000 comes with this little uh, bag of goodies and in there is the wires and stuff you need for uh, um, getting all this together. Get my way into the plastic bag here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just dump these out and show you the two important things. This is a um, for binding. Uh, you press this into the side of the uh, telemetry module. Right there, there's a little uh, indentation right there, and uh, you press it in. Uh, and you turn the um, receiver on at the same time and that uh, puts it in bind mode and the, re the reason for that is that the other important little wire here is the, uh, the little wire that connects the receiver so the JR connector goes into the bind and data port and uh, so it goes in just like that Okay. Uh, for the DX, uh, for the I'm sorry, for the AR610. Note that the black wire is on the bottom. Okay, and so that's in the bind port. So you can't use the bind port. <laughs> okay, so um, that goes in the data bind port or bind data port, and this um, can only go in one way. Those those little holes there are in the upper part of the connector and so the pins on the data port uh, can only go in one way and um, there we go okay so it's in the data port and you note that the red wire is to the bottom there okay and it's in the data port it says data right there data you get it focused right there data okay so now that that's together, okay, um, you want to be able to bind it to the um, uh, through the ESC because you want the fail-safe position known to the for the ESC purposes and the self-safe fail-safe positions of the sticks here uh, and all the switches uh, need to be uh, set. Um, um, so that the um, uh, when you bind it, everybody knows where the fail safe is. Okay. So how do you do this? Well, you got to plug this in at the same time you're holding this. It takes an extra pair of hands, or I use a bench vise. So plug this bench vise in here. So with that bench vise, I'm going to use a, uh, a switch here, standard uh, JR switch. Okay, that's the on side because it only has one wire. That's the off side. The switch is now in the off position. It says off on top. And so um, um, what I'm going to do is um, open the the um, jaws of the bench vise, okay, and then um, the on side of the switch will go into a little closer here. Will go into the uh, um, let's see here. I'm, I'm sorry, yes. Okay. The p 
power. The, the, the ESC is going to power the receiver. So from the ESC, you have this uh, little wire here that provides power that will go into the throttle channel. So this is the throttle connector, and that's what's going to apply uh, power to the receiver. So in order to have that switch, I'm going to plug this into the... Um, on side of the switch, I'm sorry, into the off side of the switch, okay, so that when I plug it in, power is to the off side of the switch, but not to the on side yet until I flip the switch, okay. So then this uh, on side of the switch is going to go into the throttle channel. So all I'm doing is inserting a switch between the ESC and the receiver. And then what I'm going to be able to do is hold this bind pointer and press that at the same time my little pinky down here can turn it on. So that allows me to, um, so I'm going to bind it to this, um, the DX6 that I just programmed. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off and um, um, so when I get to binding actually I'm going to pick this up walk away at least three feet away hold the bind button down and turn it on while this thing is flashing at me and you'll be able to see that these two things are flashing hopefully and uh, so now what I can do is um, first off I want to make sure that the the throttle is cut and the throttle um, stick is all the way back. And I can plug this in and you'll hear the normal tones. Okay. Except you don't hear the last tones until I flip the switch. Okay, So now I'm going to um, hold the the puncture module in one hand and the pointer in the other hand and I'm going to hold this little button in as I turn it on. So here we go. Button in, turn on. Okay. Now you can see that that's flashing. Okay. And the receiver's flashing. I'll get off, off camera here and turn this on and listen. So you heard it say binding DSMX 22 milliseconds and telemetry. So the telemetry is now working and the reason telemetry is not working is because I don't have the telemetry wire from the, from the, um, uh, con the connector here into the TM1000, but that's okay. So now that it's bound together, okay, I can turn this off, so that makes that off. That makes the receiver doesn't have any power to it. I can turn the radio off and I can unplug this. Okay, so the reason it said no um, battery voltage is that the, the, this little um, uh, module here, the, this little um, sensor here, uh, where this sensor wire goes back to the TM1000 back here, uh, is not connected to this one. because the the one I'm flying with is in here and it's already bound to my DX18 and I don't want to change that. So that's the binding process. And uh, uh, unless you have somebody to help you, you, you find a solution. And my solution is um, instead of having four hands do it, two hands can do it as long as you got a uh, switch and a um, uh, bench vise. A little portable bench bike like this is really cheap. It it, it uh, and it's extremely handy um, in the shop here. Okay, so um, that's the binding process. Thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.